I may go out tomorrow if I can borrow a coat to wear Oh, I'll step out in style with my sincere smile And my dancing bear Outrageous, alarming, courageous, charming Oh, who would think a boy and bear could be well accepted everywhere It's just amazing how fair people can be Melbourne man has been left with a medical bill of more than $100,000 because he didn't read the fine print in his travel insurance policy. Age 22, Louis Rowe is now a paraplegic following a motorcycle accident while on holiday in Thailand. Tom Steinfurt with his exclusive report. This is not how Louis Rowe expected to return from a holiday in Thailand. He should have been graduating from university and beginning a career in marketing this month. Instead, from a wheelchair, he now looks back on a holiday that started out like any other, but ended tragically. The 22-year-old remembers hiring a motorbike in Thailand, like thousands of Australians do each year. But his next memories are of life-changing diagnoses from doctors. He kind of went through, you know, you're going to be in a wheelchair and stuff like that. And remember that bit, but uh, I don't know, it was just... A bit of a blur, a bit of a daze. He had two plates and eight screws put in his back. Within hours, his dad received the bad news. It was uh, just one of those calls that a parent wouldn't want to receive. I could just see the distress on his face and, and he said Lewis had an accident and he's never going to walk again. The medical bill for the whole ordeal tops more than $100,000 and although Louis had travel insurance, a clause relating to motorbike riding means he won't see a cent in compensation. He needed a full motorcycle licence but didn't have one. They gave us the, uh, the appropriate cover we thought, so we thought we would have been covered. His shattered mother hopes no one makes the same mistake. Travel insurance has a lot of loopholes. Uh, we've missed out on travel insurance with Louis because of small print. The Insurance Council of Australia didn't return our calls. Meanwhile, there's still a ray of hope that Louis may one day walk again. He's packed his bags to consult a world-renowned doctor in China. Don't anybody ever tell me that hope is false. False hope doesn't exist. Hope is hope. And, yeah, we're going for it. Tom Steinford, National 9 News. And people wishing to help Louis Rowe can find address details for donations on his website, www.louisrowe.com. And my world got turned around And then went upside down But I'm still the same boy who went outside to play Yeah, I'm faced with a great slow But all I got is hope And tomorrow maybe the things won't be the same And my work got turned around And then went upside down but I'm still the same boy who went outside Still the same boy who went outside Still the same boy who went outside to play A Melbourne paraplegic is walking again after undergoing radical stem cell treatment in India. 23-year-old Louis Rowe is thrilled and wants the government to reconsider laws banning the groundbreaking therapy in Australia. Tom Steinford has been following his progress. Doctors said this would never happen. But Louis Rose returned from India and over the weekend was stepping out with family and friends, a feat well and truly worth drinking to. Here's a Louis. <laughs> it was always a dream. I had a picture of uh, what I'll do when I got back and 
Yeah, I've uh, done it here tonight, so it's a great feeling. They're only baby steps for now, but for his proud parents, every step is an achievement. You can't really believe it until you're actually there and see him stand and walk, and it was just... It's just a miracle. He's the wonder boy. Wheelchair-bound since a motorbike accident in Thailand early last year, Louis travelled to Delhi to undergo three months of stem cell treatment under the watch of Dr Geeta Shroff, and in the process learnt to walk again. I just cried. You could, it just couldn't help it. It was just so overwhelming. I always knew he would walk. It was just a matter of when. Now he can stand to chat with friends and a visit to the toilet is also much easier. That was one thing I was looking forward to, standing up to pee. <laughs> In fact, since the treatment began, it really has been smiles all round. Louis' recovery is quite literally a step-by-step -step process. At the moment he can only take around 30 paces before he's exhausted, but he wants to one day walk to Canberra where he hopes to trumpet the message of stem cell treatment. This is where the governments really have to step in now. People like Louis in wheelchairs and quadriplegics and paraplegics, that, there is a future there now for him. And Louis' message on stem cell treatment couldn't be any simpler. Yeah, it works.